I've already been notified. Right. Uh, yeah, thanks, Steve. Okay. I've been notified. I I, I'm okay. Not wait on you when you go that's okay. You don't have to wait on me. You're the one that's wasting time and harassing, just to make it really clear. Uh, no, we don't. I haven't done anything to hurt anybody. I'm, uh, I'm not harming anyone. All right, I'm just gonna grab tea and then I'll be done. If I took an ID with a mask, you're not gonna wear one. I do not touch uh, satanic devices. Okay, oh. <laughs> okay. that really took uh, quite an interesting turn at the end there. I do not touch uh, satanic devices. Okay. We're sorry you had to deal with that, Steve. When we sell prescriptions, we don't, we don't, we don't just give it like that. We need to verify address and okay. their what I'm telling you is y'all didn't so email who, with who me because I didn't get my who medicine. Knows. So then, who, who took the medication? What she's saying is somebody who somebody took it. What I'm saying, okay, but then let me see the camera and see that that's me. Because what I I'm telling you, I cannot show you the camera. But what I'm telling you is that wasn't me. Y'all gave my medicine to somebody else then. That wasn't me. It was you. I wasn't here. It was you. We took the camera and it was you. Oh my God. And he wasn't you. I'm going to be here at 11 something in the morning. I have no reason Sir, to be here. Sir, I don't that know. Early, I don't miss. know why you're doing this. I cannot come things. here that okay, early to get no medicine. Okay, okay. Uh, medicine is not something you want to get mixed up. <laughs> like, they're actually pretty calm for this being a freak out. Like, they're angry but calm. And he's like, y'all must have gave my medicine to someone else and I took theirs. Like, that is so dangerous. You don't know what the heck you're taking. What if you didn't, like, look at it? You just happened to pop one of those suckers in your mouth. That scares me a little bit. Y'all gotta be careful. You, you're telling me I lost the money. Yes. I'm telling you, you spent your money on an icy that you have in front of you, uh -huh. and you didn't like the taste of it. So you're it's kind acting of, like it's a four-year-old. It's actually kind of it's actually kind of water in the center of the mall here. You're acting like a four-year-old. You pulled out your phone and you're trying to I don't know what you're trying to do. You're trying to be aggressive, passive aggressive. Not at all. Another free drink. Not, okay. Nobody gives a f that you don't like your blue icy that you paid four thirty-six. <laughs> Or like, what? That's your problem, man. You shouldn't have bought the icy if you didn't like the icy. It's an icy. They're all the same everywhere you go. That's your problem. Don't buy another one. You learned your lesson. We all make mistakes. There you go. Don't let him walk all over you, all right? The fact that this guy is really out here trying to get a refund and fighting about some frozen juice, like, he didn't like it. Go to 7-Eleven, go get a slushie. You can customize what flavor you want in your cup, all right? Like, it's not a big deal. And now you know not to get the blue icy. Okay, so this is a person right here, <laughs> an employee of McDonald's. There's no sign here at all, <laughs> and they made me go around. I'm sorry, I refuse to be recorded. It is my right to not be recorded. Uh, I'm sorry. You're there's dead. no sign oh, here. There is a sign over right there. Right here, right here. There's Wait, the first time, so you're going to waste my gas? There was a sign over there. You're going to oh waste my Have fun being on Facebook. You're, you're going to be on Facebook. Have fun. You're so you're annoying. Have fun. So annoying. That was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He's literally, there's not a sign on this window. She's like, there's a sign right there. And he's like, you're gonna waste my gas? Like, of what, two feet? You're gonna drive through the drive through anyway. Oh, oh, entitlement. Really appreciate the guy waving in the back though. What is going on guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I am your host for this one, Joss Bedard. We are checking out some employee versus customer. Breakouts. If you have ever experienced one, let me know in the comments. I want to know about it. I worked at Tim Hortons and a lot of retail and bartending, and yes, customers freaked out at me at pretty much every job. So I've been there. Why you want me to leave? And you are not going to have any. It'll be very nice to come to the We call the police. Me. Yes. Why would you want me to leave? Because you are aggressive and you are making. Fun. Why are you touching me? Don't touch me, please. You are 25 minutes late. And that just works the way that we've got other patients. We can't take you today. So I asked her politely. I asked her politely. And she politely gave you another appointment. No, she's giving me in July. She's giving me in July. Look here. I'm very sorry, but you are going to have to leave. When Hannah Lee asked you to leave, this is a private you. But you had an appointment and you were 25 minutes late. Why do people not understand that? You can't just show up whenever you want and then everyone else is supposed to wait around because you showed up late. And then he's upset that they don't have room until July? Well, mister, you probably should have came to your appointment that you had then. I have a paid room here. You have a paid room? Then what do you need instead of sitting here taking pictures of somebody? I need a new- What do you need? Why are you cussing? What do you need? I need a new key. 
Oh my food. God! When instead of sitting there taking pictures of Man. people, how do you need a new key? You <gasps> threw your key in the slot. I didn't throw oh, it in the slot. Oh, she's crazy! You did throw it in the slot, honey, because that thing threw your key all that away. Are you gonna sit here telling me you didn't? You didn't throw it in this slot right here, ma'am. I thought that was the customer, you guys. That's the employee talking like that, acting like that. <gasps> you gonna lose your job today. That's insane. I can't, like the person's like calmly asking you for a key. That is not a way to handle that. Oh my God. Like it doesn't hurt. Let me whip it out. Let me whip it out. Hey, let me whip hey. your mask up. Hey, put your mask on. Put your mask on, sir! 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 He's really putting on a show. <laughs> Why didn't you put a mask on? <laughs> she didn't need to do, like, I would expect that kind of behavior from a four-year-old. And you know what? Even four-year-olds wear masks. <gasps> no, this guy really didn't need to be that extra. He went the extra mile to put his mask on. Like, good for you. So can you explain to me? No, because that's a- Put your mask on. So you plus size women can't come in here and get a pedicure. And that's what you tell me? <gasps> Yeah, so sometimes we ask, you know, because we're scared. So you have. The, the chair you so you. Sometimes the you don't let. Oh. So you don't let big girls come in here and get a pedicure. No. We, Is that we what do. you. We, we do. Well, I'm a plus size lady and I'm not getting a pedicure. Oh my God. I, I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. He's blatantly saying that sometimes they don't let plus size girls in there. Because I'm, I think, I don't know, it's hard to understand, but he's saying that they fall and the chair breaks is what I'm assuming he's saying. Oh my God, I don't know how you just say that to someone. That is so terrible. And he's like, no shame. He's like, yeah, yeah, we don't. What? Shame on you. She, I, I asked her to put it in a toaster oven. This bacon is not cooked. I put it in the like Okay, well, see, so you, you figure it out. You figure out what to do. You don't get an attitude. <gasps> you put oh, it back shoot. in the. Go ahead, go ahead, because it's going to be all on social media. What kind of. I asked for a club sandwich with bacon. It's actually like. Oh, well, that's why you work here, and that's why you're always going to be working for other people. Yep. Exactly. You know that, right? You can wipe that off right now. That's, you, thank you for telling me. You're so welcome. You're welcome. Oh, my God, y'all. If anyone in my life ever tells me that I have an attitude or that I'm sassy, <laughs> I'm gonna just show this clip because this girl sass. You thank you for telling me. You're so welcome. You're welcome. It's like that kind sassy. Ooh, it stings. She's got some guts to be that like sassy, especially with the manager there. Like, I don't even know how he's allowing that. That is not good. Pull up, I'm not leaving. Uh, well, could you please pull up so we could have our food? When I get my socks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Serious about this song? I see. I, you're serious, ma'am. Yes, I'm serious. Yes, you're serious. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm serious too. Okay. I'll put my car in reverse now, so you. Well, I, I'm recording right now, you idiot. So do I. Oh, okay. Well, then you can record yourself being dumb. Is she really that upset about sauce? Where's my sexual sauce? Like, I don't think that the other people should be antagonizing her, but come on, it's just sauce. Like, I love sauce. I love a good dip, but I'm not about to threaten to commit a crime over sauce. No. You gonna give me my, res my, 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 my refund and receipt. That's what's gonna happen. I'm not sitting there. I gotta pee. I'm not sitting there. <laughs> Where, 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 you want me to lift my leg in the corner or something? Ew. Like, where, 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 you got a bathroom I can use? Do you have a restroom I can use? All right then, I got to pee, so I'm standing up. And you can... Where are they? Why do you got such a runny mouth, woman? I'm talking to you like this. 
Oh my God, he has some nerve to tell her she's a whiny mouth. Like he's literally asking for a refund because he has to pee. <laughs> and receipt. That's what's gonna happen. I'm not sitting down. I gotta pee. They didn't make the building. They're not in charge of if they have a bathroom for you, sir. And please don't lift your leg and pee in the corner. You having to pee is a you problem. Sorry. The drama. I mean, her mask was like here. All you had to do was move it up an inch, and you're okay. This is becoming so ridiculous. This whole mask thing is just so, it's getting so out of hand. All you have to do is put a piece of cloth on your face. Like, it's not gonna suffocate you. It's not like people are asking you to put a bag over your head. You're fine, you're okay. Questions to me. Sorry. I took something. Why you share, who share my video? My, my, my photo. I took something, I asked him. I asked him. Ask, I took something. What's happening? Hey, oh. hey, hey! Oh, I'm scared. What's gay? Oh, dang, get out! What's gay? That's right. What's gay? I ask you. I do not know Who shared my photo? Who shared my photo? Is that what he's saying? Who shared my photo? So I'm assuming he's a male Karen that's been filmed before and he went viral and he's not Who happy about it. My photo? <laughs> now we came back and he's filming too. Sir, you're just, you're going viral again. And I am helping by putting you in this video. You're welcome. He said, catch me the threats are coming out Ooh. I don't understand what the big deal is like oh you touched my phone Sorry, is that a life-threatening thing, me touching your phone? Probably not. Whoopsie daisy, I went boop. So, um, this, this uh, employee just told me that I have to leave this restaurant, is that right? Yes, because you were sleeping. Because I was sleeping? Yes. Is there a federally oh. mandated law pertaining to not being able to sleep in a restaurant while my mobile device that I'm recording on right now is charging? Unfortunately, you cannot do that either. Because um, uh, you can sit here if you order food and eat, but I did. I, sleep in I did order food. But you cannot sleep in the restaurant. Really? No. Oh. Is there? It's been, it's been four hours since last time you slept. And you were there. And I was. Yes, and you're sleeping. I don't. Is that a rule? If someone buys McDonald's, eats it, and charges their phone and falls asleep for four hours, can they get kicked out? Are you allowed to sleep in a public restaurant? I don't know. It's not illegal. It's frowned upon. Like masturbating on an airplane. I'm sure they can ask you to leave, but I don't know if like they can actually like force you out of there. Interesting. So what happened was I came in, I ordered my food, I was respectful. Me and my children all have had masks on. They were a little bit disruptive. We went outside. We came back 10 minutes later. She saw us, like my kids were running around. She was watching us. I thought it was weird. We came inside and she's sitting on this end of the bench. And I said, okay, sit down, I'm going to be ready in just a second. It has been 10 minutes since I ordered our food. And then she gets up and starts talking to a random customer about how she doesn't want to be anywhere near my kids. They're not cute, they're gross. We shouldn't be in public. My kids wear all of her masks on. So she's not cute. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Mm. She really did say that, that's very unnecessary. But we're hearing one side of the story, so I'm not gonna make judgments, you guys. But if that is exactly what happened, then that was pretty messed up. And they're kids. Sometimes kids are gonna be kids. 
We clearly have seen a lot of adults who don't know how to behave, so we can't expect kids to be perfect all of the time. You know? Um, we've been There's complaining since we room. got here. There's blood you know, in the room, and you're not doing anything look, look, about it. Chill, babe, chill. We've documented Ew. this already. Okay. With the person that was here That's before disgusting. you. disgusting. Okay. So this has been documented. Okay. And you just acknowledge that. So you, you're acknowledging you just came up to, up to our room and cleaned boogers off our wall, right? Ew. I don't know whether or not they were boogers or not. Or, or I don't even know if they, they were, were boogers. They were boogers and blood. Okay. Right? It still could have been that your right? boogers or your blood. Uh, <laughs> I don't know whose boogers and blood is in that hotel room, but that is disgusting. And even if a customer came to you and said, my room has blood and boogers, like, you shouldn't take that lightly and you should be doing whatever you need to do to fix it because that is like disgusting. You can be shut down. That is not health approved. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I love this clip. I love it. Yes. <laughs> I love this so much. The way he has so much stuff stuffed in his pants. They had to, had to speed up the clip. If I heard a part of the I told the car to pop. Oh my god, he's so annoying. Yeah. Oh, so he has stretchy pants. Oh my god. The fact that he was able to stuff so much down his pants. He really wore his stretchiest pants that day. He went into that store on a mission. He got caught, whoops, but you know, at least you got to test out the stretchiness of your pants. And all I expect your employee to do is say thank you, and okay? And for you to be, for, he, he did not say, apologize for that. You're lying, you're lying. You're lying. He didn't say thank you and you're lying. You wasn't even around mm -hmm. when, I, when he was serving me. You're being very argumentative and completely unprofessional. You're being very, uh, this is my evidence, okay? Because you're not allowed, technically you're not allowed to film people. This is, a, this is, a, I'm gonna have to call security right now. You can call security, this is my evidence I'm going to evidence. submit to Starbucks. Ooh, like you're yelling at an employee because they didn't say thank you? Aren't you supposed to say thank you? I'm just doing my job, I am providing you with things. Why am I thanking you? I don't get paid enough hourly to be thanking customers. For my work. That don't make no sense. I didn't know you could buy cigars at a shop like that. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Do they do that here? Uh, not that I smoke, but like, I don't know. I didn't know it was that easy to buy cigars. My hair's looking whack today. Anyways. Would you take their order? I'm curious, people. Let me know in the comments. If someone wasn't wearing a mask, would you take their order? Chris, would you? If you had a mask and there was glass? Or would you put your foot down and say, no? Yeah, I guess. They don't get paid very much. <laughs> All right, I think this is sort of level. I don't know, can't tell. If not, you crop it anyway. At least they didn't say they were gonna sue. All right, clip number... Mm -hmm.